Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing this eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. I did not do the skin, unfortunately, but I did do the eyes. I'm sharing with you guys the lashes that I'm wearing and showing you step-by-step -step on how to achieve this eyeshadow look. It actually kind of gives me like bridal vibes. Of course, if the lashes is too much for you, you can definitely switch them out, but it's giving me bridal mother of the bride or quinceanera mom vibes. <laughs> This is definitely a makeup look or a glam look that I would wear for a, an event or maybe even slap this on for a really nice glam bride. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am using a oldie but a goodie palette and I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the products that I did use in today's video down in that description box. Always check that first. But of course, you know, if I miss anything, let me know down in the comments and I will make sure to answer you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm really obsessed with this eyeshadow look and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started <laughs> so I'm gonna be going into the Jaclyn Hill times Morphe this is a oldie but a goodie palette this is volume one and I'm gonna go into this shade that I just pointed I don't know any of the names and it really frustrates me when people or companies don't put names on their eyeshadows <laughs> it's just frustrating because then I can't tell you guys what I'm using but I'm just pointing at it. I'm going into my Morphe M433 brush. I'm just gonna apply this in my crease, you guys, and then I'm blend it back and forth. This will be our transition shade. And then I am moving over to the Morphe Times Ariel, and this is one of their brushes in the collection. And I am going to just apply some of that same eyeshadow towards the outer corner, like if we were creating a smoked out liner. So we are already applying that first before we go a little bit darker. And then picking up this next shade, and I'm going to start to use that same detailed brush from Morphe and collab with um, Ariel. And I'm going to start to just darken up the crease and then just switching back and forth between that brush and my Morphe M433 just to blend out any harsh lines. This detailed brush from Ariel, I like it because, you know, as you guys can see, it places the eyeshadow really nice in the crease and it really defines the eye. Um, but then to blend it out and buff it up, um, buff it out, I'm going to go into that Morphe M433 brush just to smooth everything out. I really want everything to look nice and blended. You guys already know that. And then I'm going to go into the Marvin Beauty. This is their brown liquid matte eyeliner. And I'm going to start to create just a baby winged outer corner wing. I think that made sense. <laughs> um, of course, you can, you can use black, whatever your little heart desires, but I'm going to stick to browns and more warmer tones and then I'm gonna go into this brown dark brown shade and taking another smaller detailed brush from Morphe times Ariel and I'm just applying the eyeshadow pretty much setting the gel liner but at the same time making it smoky so that way it doesn't look super harsh you can totally leave it like how you know just apply your normal liner you can leave it like that but I'm gonna be a little extra and just smooth it out <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go back into this small little brush and I'm taking that first shade that we did use you guys and blending right on top of it to blend out those harsh lines and then taking this nice shimmery shade and applying it all over the lid this color actually reminds me a lot of a color that brides normally always go for whenever you know I used to do their makeup they love to have something icy and like silver on their eyelids because it really looks nice and shimmery once they do take their pictures it looks so pretty and sometimes you can even just add some glitter right on top of it like the Urban Decay um, metal glitters and it looks really nice and shiny um, and then I'm just going, going back to that same little detail brush just to blend out any harsh lines um, because that glitter eyeshadow did cover a little bit of that brown so all I'm doing is going back into the palette and picking up some more of that dark brown shade um, and then I'm going to go into this um, brown pencil from Urban Decay and I'm going to go ahead and just tie line up my eyes and just apply it on that waterline to prepare us for putting on some falsies. Next, taking that same liner, I'm going to apply it towards that outer corner to really smoke out that outer corner. I didn't want to bring it all the way in because I kind of want the eye to look more bigger and brighter, um, but it's up to you if you want to make this look more smoky. Um, and then taking again that small little detail brush with no product, I'm just blending out that eyeliner. And then I do go back in with some of that dark brown shade just to set it again. And just to make sure that everything looks well 
Um, and then I'm going back to that brush with that first shade we used and applied it towards that lower lash line. I'm gonna go and do my face off camera and then I'm gonna go into this Nabla um, Beauty. This is their nude eye pencil. And I've been obsessed with this eye pencil. You can find it at your local Morphe store um, or you can also shop for it online. I like to go over it twice just so that my under eye or my waterline can look super bright and this will really help to make the eyes look bigger. You can definitely go in with black, brown, you can do whatever you want. You guys don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but I want to do it like this. And then I'm going to go into my Benefit, their Real Magnet Mascara, just to apply it towards the lower lashes. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. And then for the inner corner highlight, I actually did go into this small little bullet brush. And uh, I think it's from Morphe. And just going in to that same shadow that we used on the main lid, just applying the inner corner to really brighten that up. And you guys, that's pretty much it for today's eyeshadow tutorial. Super easy. You guys can definitely recreate this at home. If you felt inspired by this eyeshadow look, please tag me on Instagram because you know that I love to see your recreations. The lashes, I forgot to mention, they are Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos in their faux mink line. Um, I love you. Hopefully you enjoyed. All right, my honeys, and that is it for today's tutorial on this eyeshadow look. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but if you guys are watching this video, I already named it, but I still don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, again, I love it. I feel like it's very bridal, um, and it's for honestly any occasion. And I love using the Jaclyn Hill palettes in collab with Morphe. I think they are so good. You guys know that I use Volume 2 so much. And volume one is seriously a good palette if you are a beginner makeup artist and you're starting to do makeup on clients. I feel like you can do endless makeup looks with that palette um, and it's seriously so good. I definitely recommend to stock, to stock up on another one um, because it's a, a really good palette to have in your kit. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for showing me so much love and constant support. You guys don't know how much that means to me. Um, you guys are truly helping me out and helping out my channel grow. Um, and I forever, forever, ever will thank you for that. <laughs> Take care. I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday. Besitos. I'll see you soon. Bye.